75. And there's a study that's been done in uh, Olino sinks uh, that, uh, again, I think I actually was showing you images from it. It combined uh, resistivity with, um, basically, they put out an uh, array of electrodes. And uh, it was permanently there. They put one out in an area where um, fresh water is coming down here and going into a, uh, the aquifer underground. And then, um, the, the, for various reasons, it, it goes, most of that water goes down into the aquifer, comes back out of what's called the river rise. And they put another array of electrodes in there. And then they waited until there was a really big rainstorm. And they went out, like, I think, every hour or every few hours, about four times a day, and they did uh, data collection. So it's like a time um, study of what happens as water goes, fresh water going into the aquifer, and then um, the, the, the water drying up. How long does it take that, that, um, that plug or that slug of water to process its way into um, the aquifer? This is uh, the sink uh, in the river. I don't think there's anybody who's here in this picture, but this is this was, uh, one time we took students down to the uh, river Rise, which is like a little spring. And uh, the Rise, th this is through time, basically, there were actually two rainstorms, I think, and the first one just saturated the ground. And then it was the second one where the water finally started uh, making its way to the aquifer. So there was a big rainstorm here on, I think, the 28th or 29th. And the water in the sink um, used to go to the, the discharge. There are peaks and then slowly falls off. And it takes uh, a couple days before the discharge goes up at the rise. And remember, we were talking about the, uh, the fact that the, um, the surface, what we call meteoric water that has less uh, carbonate in it, is going to be higher resistivity. It's kind of red. And you can see immediately after the rainstorm, it's already down in here inside this, this is a conduit that they knew was under uh, basically a, uh, a sink or a uh, tube going through the, the limestone. And it, after, um, by about August 2nd, it was starting to it basically spread out into the, and be mixed in with the uh, aquifer water, and then it was not really even observable. That sludge was um, not there um, by August 3rd. Whereas in the rise where the, the aquifer's coming out, water is coming out, um, it starts to come up from below. This sludge of um, higher resistivity, uh, more, more fresh water with less carbonate, and it starts to come up from below. And it takes until even by August 8th, it's still a little bit of coming out. So you can actually look at water moving in the underground in uh, different conduits with you put resistivity across them where you where you're looking basically into caves or into uh, water-filled caves underground. And I'll tell you that down. 